Cutworms are common but destructive pests that can be found throughout the United States. These caterpillars are known to target fruits and vegetables, but they'll also target your turf grass if nearby. Your lawn could already contain a few cutworms, but when populations start to spike, you'll see noticeable dead spots start to form. So in this video, we'll show you how to identify and get rid of cutworms in your lawn so your grass can stay green and healthy throughout the year. To shop the products featured in this video and learn even more about cutworm control, click the icon on the top right of the screen or click the link in the description below. The first thing you should do in any pest control plan is identify what exactly you're dealing with. Your lawn can form patches of dead grass for many reasons, from fungus to pests to stress factors. Cutworms refer to the larvae of certain moths in the genus Agrides. They are typically one to two inches in length, but different species will have different colorations. Most cutworm species will have spots or stripes that run from the head to the tail, and they lack visible hairs. Cutworm activity will start to appear in late spring from May to June. Their name comes from the way they eat. They'll chew at the base of plant stems until the plant falls over, appearing as if it had been cut. Note that it's the larvae that do most of the damage as they'll eat grass and create patches of dead turf. Adult moths only feed on nectar, but adult activity can be signs that eggs are nearby as well. After properly identifying cutworms in your lawn, you'll need to inspect your property to find where they're most active. Check your lawn for patches of discolored or dying grass, typically one to two inches in diameter. You may find chew marks or white spots along the edges of grass blades. Since cutworms are nocturnal, they'll hide underneath thatch during the day to coax them into coming out. You can flush cutworms out of the thatch and onto the grass surface by pouring a solution of one tablespoon of dishwashing soap and one gallon of water over suspected patches. Pour one gallon over one square yard at a time, and any cutworm should surface within a few minutes. After identifying and inspecting your property for cutworm activity, you can proceed to treatment. Before starting any treatment, be sure to wear your personal protective equipment or PPE and remember to keep all people and pets off the treated areas until dry. To get rid of cutworms in your lawn, you'll need to use insecticides labeled for cutworm control like Bifen LP and Dominion 2L. Bifen LP is a granular insecticide that will need to be watered into the soil, so we also recommend following up with a broadcast treatment of Dominion 2L. Dominion 2L is a systemic insecticide, so it'll be absorbed into the turf grass. When cutworms feed on the grass blades, they'll be poisoned and die out. These insecticides together create a one-two punch, effectively eliminating cutworms from your lawn. To start, calculate your treatment area's square footage by measuring the area's length and width and multiplying them together. You'll use this to determine how much product you'll need to use. Since treating just the spots you found cutworms won't guarantee that they won't move to other areas, you'll make a broadcast treatment over your entire lawn with both products. Begin by applying the Bifen LP granules with a push spreader to apply the labeled rate of 1.15 pounds per 1,000 square feet of treatment area. Load your spreader with the proper amount of Bifen LP based on your square footage and evenly distribute it all throughout the treatment area. Broadcast half your granules in parallel lines once across your area, then broadcast the other half at a perpendicular angle to cover the area in its entirety. Once you've finished your Bifen LP application, it will need to be watered into the soil to reach the turf's root zone. Do this with the application of Dominion 2L. Dominion 2L is a liquid insecticide concentrate, so it'll need to be mixed with water before application. Dominion won't only aid in activating the Bifen granules, but it'll also provide effective suppression of cutworms and control of many other insects. To treat cutworms with Dominion 2L, apply the labeled rate of 0.46 to 0.6 fluid ounces of Dominion 2L per 1,000 square feet of treatment area. If your lawn is seeing heavy activity from cutworms, you can use the higher rate of 0.6 fluid ounces. We recommend using a 20 gallon hose and sprayer since you'll make broad applications throughout the entire lawn and you want to use enough water to push the bifen granules and dominion treatment past the thatch layer. To treat isolated areas of turf, you may also use a 1 gallon sprayer. To use the hose end sprayer, remove the reservoir from the nozzle. Make sure your sprayer's control valve and your water pump are off, then attach the nozzle to the hose. Add the proper amount of Dominion 2L, then fill the reservoir with enough water to treat the entire lawn. To make sure you thoroughly coat the area and water in the bifen granules, use at least two gallons of water per 1,000 square feet of treatment area. Double check to make sure your control valve and water pump are still off, then reattach the reservoir to the nozzle. Once you've ensured a tight connection, you can now turn the water on. To spray, push forward on the control valve. To stop, simply pull the the valve back into the off position. To kill cutworms in your lawn, evenly distribute the entire amount of product over your treatment area. As you make your application, keep an eye on the amount of product you have left in the sprayer's reservoir. When the liquid in the reservoir runs out, no product will be applied. When using Dominion 2L, be sure to apply on calm days when wind speeds are low to minimize drift. The product's active ingredient is very toxic to bees and other pollinators, so it's best to apply when pollinators are not actively foraging. 
Prevention is essential to keeping cutworms off your lawn. Cutworms are nocturnal pests, so they spend most of the day hiding in thatch. Rake your lawn regularly, and you'll remove important shelter that cutworms would use to protect themselves. This will also make your lawn less desirable for future infestations and expose existing cutworms to predators. Raking and dethatching your lawn also has the added benefit of promoting good lawn care. By keeping your grass healthy, you can reduce and keep down pest symptoms to unnoticeable and manageable levels. In addition to raking your lawn, you can trim back tree branches to reduce shade and promote proper water retention in your soil. Give your lawn one to one and a half inches of water once a week and mow your grass to a taller height, about three to four inches to encourage root growth. Finally, make sure you fertilize your lawn with the proper amount of nitrogen it needs so it can stay healthy and fight against pest symptoms. Cutworms may be highly destructive, but there are ways to manage and control an infestation that's gone out of hand. With these professional products and tips from Solutions Pest and Lawn, you can stop cutworms from destroying your lawn, and we offer same-day shipping to help you get control quickly. Visit our website to get your products today. If you like this how-to guide, please share. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe for more how-to and product videos, and contact us for more tips, tricks, and DIY pest solutions.